Hey everyone, welcome back to the Den Fireworks. Today's video, we are getting nutty with Showtime Fireworks. This is a 19 shot, 200 gram cake in a hex format. And it's by Showtime Fireworks, who so I've done some of their fountains. I've never seen any of their cakes. So I was at Hooks at Fireworks in New Hampshire. I saw this one up there and the wrap made me laugh. So I looked at it and then I couldn't find the name for it because Showtime does like to kind of hide their name and their logo down in the back. Looking at the effects on this one, you'll go nuts when you see this great item. Brocade crown with green strobe, Spitfire blue stars and silver fish, Brocade crown with red strobe, Spitfire crackle and falling leaves, ending with brocade crown with white strobe. 19 shot. So we've got fish, we've got falling leaves, we've got strobes, we've got the breaks by a brand I haven't seen much of. More than the wrap pulled me in on this one after. So taking the top off this cake, this is actually one of the preformed cake molds. So instead of having tubes held in, this is all one single piece with holes for the tubes drilled out into them. I'm always interested in seeing some more of these. So I didn't know that when I picked this one up, but it is nice to know and I want to see how this one performs. And this might be a good one to keep and put Roman candles in after as well. The plug is probably about here on this cake. So let's go out, see how all of the effects look on this one. See if we are going to go nutty over this one or if we're just not going to. Thanks everyone. Now one issue I think we're going to run into on this format is I'm not really sure where to poke this one following the fuse and where it goes in and I tried putting a hole in following it and I'm not going into anything right now so I'm probably going to clip on an e-match to this one so we won't be able to get instant fire and then I'm going to keep this body and look at it to see how I can try to poke these better in the future. But while there's all the lift charge in there, I'm not going to mess around with it too much and take a chance of breaking it open and having some leak out. So we'll do a post-mortem after on this one as well and see how we could cut this open to match it. For the demo, I'll trim the fuse down, clip on a match. And, you know, it should light everything up and we'll see how far this fuse requires to go in here as well. And we'll go from there. <laughs> 